Wake up MI5 and notify them that we have an imminent threat. Yes, bro, yeah? You are thinking, right? You're thinking on exactly the same lines as what I'm thinking. You, you, you get it, right? You get what I'm saying, don't you? Um, if you think of it in terms of frequency, yeah? And bass and things. And low, low frequency. You know, like, if you're in, like, certain environments in caves or, uh, you know, in a big ravine or a small ravine, whatever, and those environments are a tunnel, yeah, where you can shout and it echoes and echoes and echoes and it just goes off into the distance. It can be heard miles and miles away, the echo, can't it? And doesn't it sound a little bit more like bassy every time it repeats until it fades? It's like ripples in water, isn't it, when you throw a stone in? You get a more aggressive ripple, don't you, in the water, where it goes in and then it gradually fluctuates out and the ripples become less peaked and longer, if you know what I mean, and flatter, until it just gradually, gradually dissipates. But there's movement going out where you can't even see it as well. Just like there's bass and sub-bass that you can't even hear. Humans can't hear it. You know, there's, dog, there's sounds dogs can hear, aren't there? And I'm sure other animals in nature can hear things before we do as well. Right? Because it's all about um, their DNA arrangement within the frequency compared to ours. And they can, their sen more sensors are more acute in certain areas. Right? But you see what I'm saying about the echo thing? Right? In a vacuum, if you like, in a, you know, frequency vacuum and it's just echoing beyond and keeping going you know does it go on forever to a level we can't hear does it repeat and come back on itself i don't know but when they talk about the big bang you know and obviously that's got a lot of connotations and mockery and stuff yeah. but flat earthers jump on if you think of the bang in terms of a big explosion that makes a big noise and creates a big shock wave, like I'm talking about a stone being thrown into a puddle or a pond, with them ripples that emanate from it. Because you've got to remember, um, you know, there's a lot of this planet is mostly water, if you want to call it a planet. All right, the North Pole's completely water. Video on the North Pole, yeah, coming soon in the next hour or so. Uh, and so, and the human body's 60% water, isn't it? Or more. Some more than others. I read something the other day, I saw something, that when you're a baby and you're born, you're about 70% water. And, and that's why you're chubby, you know what I mean, when you get chubby babies. And then, then as you get older, through the first year, about a year and a half, and that comes off. And you lose it and you gradually come down to about 55-60% what a normal human is, of water. And that explains why frequencies affect us, doesn't it? Because that's what controls the tide and the sea and everything, obviously. Tides are constant, isn't it? It's a constant. Anyway, you are, you're thinking correctly on the right lines, pal. In a bit.